This video is sponsored by TP-Link, but hold on one second. It's actually a very educational video because we're going to talk about an important question. Which do you need? A wireless mesh system for your home Wi-Fi or a traditional router? And that's an important question because, well, everybody has different needs. This isn't the old days of AOL where you log in and you listen to the dial tone and then you get the, you've got mail. It's not like that anymore. We've got AR, we've got VR, augmented reality and virtual reality. Of course, we've got 4K streaming, 8K streaming. You can go buy a TV at Best Buy now and get a $300, like 55-inch 4K TV. But you could be limited by the constraints of the past with a really old router. And you might even have gigabit internet home you're paying for, and you might have a really old router that's limiting how fast you can actually access your internet. So today, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about two products in the process. One, the traditional router. This is a TP-Link Axe 5400. This is the Tri-Band 6 Stream Wi-Fi router. Supports Wi-Fi 6E. And we're going to talk about that too because, well, there's a lot of Wi-Fis out there. We've got the 802.11As, the Bs, the Cs, the AXs. Maybe I'll be able to unlock some of the mysteries of this universe, but this supports Wi-Fi 6E, which is a lot faster. We're talking Wi-Fi 6, 6E, 6 gigahertz spectrum the broadband application you get for this is immense because if you're trying to do things like, well, you want to play video games with lower latency, you want to be able to stream your 4K stuff from Amazon and not have it all pixelated and locking up on you, that stuff's kind of important. Now, if you're just browsing the internet and surfing the, your email, probably not that big of a deal, but we're going to talk about this and then we're also going to talk about this guy right here, the Deco XE75 AXE. 5400 Deco Mesh Wi-Fi 6E system. And the wireless router is called the Archer AXE 5400 Wi-Fi 6E router. Now, when it comes to whole home mesh, a lot of people think that they need them, but the important thing to consider is kind of the layout of your home or your office, square footage, whether you've got a one or a two story home, this is going to give you better coverage because you'll have multiple sources that you can use instead of just the one dedicated source you get with a normal wireless router. So this gives you more comprehensive coverage, multiple areas, and that's what you need to take into consideration. And here's basically the big thing you want to talk about in this conversation. When it comes to a regular router, you're talking about one signal source. Now you can add an extender, and TP-Link of course sells that, but for the primary router, it puts out the entire big broadcasting signal. And you've probably seen, I mean, this guy right here has what, six antennas on it? That's a lot of antennas, and they're beam forming antennas, which means that it's gonna straight pipe and it's gonna send your signal in a certain direction. So if you've got a three bedroom house, you might wanna aim some of those antennas towards your bedrooms, <laughs> So that way you get the best internet signal, right? If you just have them all pointing in one direction, then it will have a diminished signal strength in the opposite direction. These antennas actually mean something. Or if you go the whole home mesh route, well, if you've got an area of your house that doesn't get good signal, you can always plop down an additional Wi-Fi mesh setup and put it back there. So then you've got a whole range of coverage options there. So that's the really important thing we wanna talk about here. Do you need one big internet connection to rule them all and in darkness bind them? <laughs> Maybe you've been watching the Lord of the Rings show on Amazon. I don't know. That could be helpful to talk about. But talking about these products. So I actually have both of these set up at my house over the period of time because I have an office I built out in my garage. There are limitations because one, my whole home router, like my router in my living room, is a really long way away from my office. But it's a lot closer to where my kids are at. Even though we've got a five-bedroom house, pretty large, 2,800 square feet, and it's spread out. Since the regular wireless router doesn't meet all of our needs, we're using now the wireless router and also the wireless mess in conjunction. And that's giving us consistent wireless connection throughout the house with fantastic speeds, even testing them out, getting 300 and 400 megabytes download speeds and the full 40 megabytes upload speed, which is the extent of my wireless plan because I have gigabit download and 40 megabyte per second upload. So that gives me that level of continuity, the throughput all throughout the house, so we have a consistent signal. And it didn't really work out for us with the traditional mode router because it was just one signal. Well, the other problem you have is as signal travels, so we've got the different spectrums, right? We've got the traditional old school 2.4, 2.5 gigahertz, and we've got the 5 gigahertz, which is faster, higher broadband, bandwidth, all that great stuff. It's not as good at distance. And it also doesn't penetrate walls and other barriers as well. And that was another big problem that I had. 
in between my office and the router, we've got the garage, like the metal security door for the garage. The signal doesn't pass through that. So with the direct signal, I couldn't get it all the way out here in my office, which was another reason I went with the whole mesh, like the mesh system. So I was able to put that out in the garage, plug it in out in the garage, straight piped out here, get a great signal. So that's kind of how this whole thing works. If you've got a regular size, if you've got an apartment, let's say you got a two bedroom apartment, you probably don't need a whole home mesh because these wireless routers, they transmit data so far. It will, I mean, you can probably get it out in your driveway, especially if you've got windows, if you don't have a big metal front door, you probably pull into your driveway when you get home and it starts connecting. So the routers actually have pretty good transmission, especially when you start talking about the different signals and you can get it on a unified network too, which is nice because it used to be, it's like, okay, you can connect to Wi-Fi ID ABC, the first one, or you can connect to Wi-Fi network ABC D2. Uh, you could have two different ones, one for the 5 gigahertz, one for the 2.5 gigahertz. And one usually you would put for like the slower things or things that you needed to reach out further and touch stuff. So one of them might reach a little bit better than the other. And that's just because of the distinction there between the 2.5 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. Well, then along came the Wi-Fi mesh and then you just put it wherever you want. And you can add extra ones on there. And the nice thing about this one, the Axe 5400, the Deco, it comes with two in the box. Of course, if you want, you can just buy one. Now, you can buy just the home part of the unit, the base unit, and then you can buy additional extra mesh points if you need that later for scalability. So that's also kind of a future-proofing thing as well. And this is important for business. It's important for like two-story homes, or if you've got maybe like a small apartment out in the garage or out in the backyard or something like that, you wanna be able to control the access points. And when it comes to the Wi-Fi mesh, you can put several of those out there and get them wherever you need and you're not going to have that diminishment in the signal because if you just have the normal source in the living room, the central part of your house, you might have some deficiencies if you have those larger platforms, if you've got a business, if you've got a two-story business, if you've got 50 offices. Yeah, you might need to stretch that out a little bit further and it might not always be conventional to use wired Wi-Fi, like wired internet. Which, yeah, sometimes you go into a business, you can plug it in, but the Wi-Fi stuff works so well nowadays in most instances, especially when it comes to the mesh points, you can go ahead and do that. So that's kind of like the biggest thing here. If you've got a small area, if you've got a small house, a small apartment, you've got a small office, likely you're not going to need the Wi-Fi mesh. You can just go with a traditional router and you should be good to go. And you also get really, really good speeds with this stuff too, especially when you're talking about Wi-Fi 6E that's six gigahertz and that's prioritized bandwidth. I mean, that's not like it doesn't bleed over. It doesn't get interference from the other signals. So if you really need some high speed capability on the wireless stuff, the Wi-Fi 6 and 6E really is kind of the way to go, especially when it comes to your router or your Wi-Fi mesh. And both of them support it. They both have Wi-Fi 6E. So big thing, big takeaway. If you're trying to figure out what you need, simple rule. If you've got a small area, maybe 1,000, 1,500 square feet, if it's all kind of centralized, if you've got a traditional house, traditional apartment, usually you put it in your living room, right? wherever your connection comes into, because of course that's going to be dictated by if you've got your Comcast, your Cox Media, your AT&T, whatever your internet signal is that comes into your house, comes in through the wall, you've got your modem, and that's where your Wi-Fi router is going to plug in at. So if it's in a bad area, then the mesh might be the way to go because you might need to have an expanded range. But if it's centrally located, you can go with the regular router. And then likely that's gonna be good. And if you happen to find yourself in a position where you might need a little bit extra coverage on one end of the house, you could always get the Wi-Fi extender. Yes, you could get the range extender for the normal wireless router. But like I said, two stories, you've got, I mean, you could have lots of people living on the top, top part of the house on the other side who are not getting good range or not getting good connection or they're getting signal interruptions or they're having poor quality connection, that's where the Wi-Fi mesh comes in. Bigger, larger areas, and you get the overlapping zones. So when you have a regular router, it's just one big signal that's transmitted out, like one big signal transmitted in the directions of the antennas, and it's just kind of like one circle that goes out. But when you have the Wi-Fi mesh, you can have them where you have overlapping circles. So you got one circle here, one circle here, for the garage, the kitchen, wherever you need that extra internet, and you get a more consistent application of your wireless signal across the area that you needed it. And one last thing I wanna mention, if you decide to pick up either the wireless router or the wireless mesh system, both of them are covered 
by two year warranty. Yes, two years a peace of mind knowing that your router and your wireless mesh are both gonna be working and supported for a long time. Wrapping things up, I've tested both the router and the Deco mesh in my house. I'm actually using them in my own home. I've been very impressed with the performance, with the speed, and also the price. TP-Link has done a great job bringing in top performing products at an unbeatable cost. The Deco XE75, the two pack, retails for $269.99, and the Archer AXE75 retails at $199.99, and you can find them for a deal on Amazon and use my discount code that's in the description for this video, which you can check out below. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, then please go down to the comments section. I will get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, if you found this helpful, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.